no major accidents or breakdowns. So we'll see how long that lasts. We'll see how long that lasts. We want to see how long this fog is going to last this morning, Damon. Yeah, it's going to be with us for for another couple of hours. Uh, so you, you, and you'll see it develop and move across the area. So in some places the the visibility has gotten better, and others it's gotten a little bit worse. Uh, this is another look through our one shell square camera at the Crescent City connection. Uh, you can see it a little bit better than what I showed you just 10 minutes ago. But of course, the next time I show you this, it'll probably be a little bit different. Here's a look at your headlines for today. That flash flood watch is in effect through this evening. Less rain is expected today, although. I'm expecting rainfall, thunderstorm activity this afternoon. And I'll show you that in just a moment. And then the rain chances are going right back up on Thursday and especially into Friday. Take a look at some of these totals from yesterday. Four inches over in Lake Vista, Slidell, almost four inches of rainfall there, just over four inch, uh, five inches in Mandeville, Biloxi, uh, over three and a half inches there. So the, uh, the flash flood watch is still in effect through tonight. Make it extended beyond that because the ground is still so saturated, even with less rainfall being expected today, not expecting a a big change in the uh, the amount of saturation that we've gone through across the area. So keep that in mind. Bogalusa visibility is at one mile due to fog. Uh, over in Hammond, it is two miles. A uh, slide has improved out to 10 miles now. In Bell Chase, one mile of visibility there, and over in Homa as well. Uh, so be very careful as you head out the door this morning. You might want to get an early start, especially if you're headed to any of those locations. And that low pressure area is just to the north of us now. We still have plenty of moisture making its way across southeast Louisiana, stationary front just off to the west of us as well. So uh, the atmosphere is still very rich. It is unstable. We're going to see more rainfall and thunderstorm activity this afternoon. Nothing like we got yesterday over, although, you know, in some areas it'll come down pretty hard at times. But right now, our radar picture is clear of the rain. But uh, of course, we've got the cloud covering the fog showing up there. And here comes the rain for the afternoon. This is the picture at noontime. And as you can see, all along the coastline, possibly exists a scene shower and thunderstorm activity that makes its way across the south shore into the three o'clock hour. Crosses Lake Pontchartrain past three and into the six p.m. hour, and then I think we're going to clear out pretty nicely later on tonight. And then the rain will be back with us once again on Thursday. Although some spotty showers on Thursday morning, some heavier rainfall, very similar pattern uh, tomorrow or Thursday than what we the, as what we will have today as that rain moves across the South Shore onto the North Shore, uh, maybe a little bit earlier for some of that. And then the rainfall chances are back with us on Friday as well. Although I think Friday our rainfall chances are going to be a little bit better. Right now at the airport, 67 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, 90% humidity. The winds are pretty calm across southeast Louisiana. And here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. I'm thinking our temperature is possibly getting in some areas into the low 80s. Most of us will stay in the upper 70s for your afternoon highs. If you go into the, the Zephyrs game at 11 a.m. this morning, about 78 degrees with a rain chance of 40%. And if you're making plans to head out to Wednesday at the square, probably about 76 degrees with a pretty good chance you might see a shower out there as well. Here's a quick look at your seven day forecast and into the weekend on your Saturday rain